There are endless skincare related questions consumers think about daily. However, turning to their friends for answers on sensitive topics often isn't an option. Asking a friend for a recommendation on the best moisturizer seems like an ordinary question, but would you ask them how to get rid of folliculitis? Maybe not. This is where Google becomes the likely destination to seek answers to what can sometimes be perceived as embarrassing questions. Smart beauty brands know that answering buyer questions successfully is often the difference between gaining a new loyal customer or losing them to the competition. In this video, I look at how Allure has built online authority, gained millions of monthly visits in organic traffic, and drives conversions for their beauty subscription box by answering the awkward questions people are just too afraid to ask. Last month, Allure generated over 12.3 million organic website visits. I preface this whole strategy with that organic metric because for a company owned by Condé Nast, which did close to $2 billion in 2022, most people would assume they're dumping a ton of cash into paid ads in order to grow faster. While they're investing some based on their organic versus paid traffic ratio, it's not their main traffic driver, like not even a little bit. Over the last eight years or so, Allure has continued to bet big on content marketing. And while they've been blogging in some form longer than that, sometime around 2017, Allure made a big change in their approach. They went from publishing with a heavy focus on industry news and promotions to publishing more helpful educational content with a heavier focus on tips and advice. As you can see, not only did their topics change radically, but they also reorganized the blog to feature a tips product reviews section above the fold, showing a renewed focus and commitment to the things their audience cares about most. And it's paid off. You can see the impact it's had on their organic footprint over the last seven years. Starting in late 2017, the number of organic keywords Allure ranked for increased dramatically. You'll also notice that this change in approach also marked the beginning of their growth in referring domains. So what happened here? I mean, we're all blogging. So what's so special about their approach? Notice that Allure uses the blog to ask and answer the questions that their audience is too afraid to ask anybody else. In fact, many of their blog posts are written in the form of questions in the first person. You know, the way you would type it into a search engine. But that's not the whole strategy. The game plan is a deliberate focus on the awkward questions that everyone is too afraid to ask openly or even say out loud. Allure didn't just start blogging. They created a forum for people to discuss and get answers to their most embarrassing questions about beauty and personal care in general. They've even created a YouTube channel dedicated to answering all questions related to beauty. In some instances, they've gone a step further and partnered with celebrities to increase interest and engagement. Some of the videos in the series tackle questions like how to turn any shampoo into an anti-dandruff treatment, how to treat dry skin in the winter, how to blot oily skin with literally anything, advice for thinning hair, all of this is deliberate. Allure decided that not only were they going to start blogging, but they were going to go all in on the things that most of us are just too afraid to ask our friends and family. Most of us have mastered the art of blogging about the challenges our audience face. For example, what's the best moisturizer to use for my skin type? Allure has mastered the emotional side of those challenges too. How to clear up fungal acne, for example. The first question you'd ask a friend, maybe even a coworker over the water cooler. The second question you're unlikely to address with them because it's more sensitive and it's a personal topic. As Allure has shown, there's a big opportunity to also address the emotional challenges our audience faces. And not just that, the things they're too embarrassed to ask anyone else, so they go to Google instead. Not just things like, how do I get rid of acne, but what do I do if my fungal acne won't go away? How do I remove skin tags? How do I stop biting my own nails? What is the best war treatment that I can buy at the store? These are all questions that might not directly tie to your product or service, but they're adjacent topics that your customers will ask themselves at one point or another. You might as well be the one who's there to help them answer that question. So what embarrassing questions might your customers have that they'd be too embarrassed to ask their friend? their wife or their husband, their parents. Draw up a backlog and get to work answering them. In a few years, who knows how much traffic you'll be driving to your website.